Hi guys and welcome back to uh, Fly Time with me, Tennis Katsugianos, and now we're up to episode five. Uh, and today we're gonna tie Willy Gun and a fly called the Usual Dark, which in it's most famous as the Usual Dark here in Sweden and Scandinavia. Uh, but it, it contains the Willy Gun colors, which is black, orange, and yellow. And it has some variations uh, if you compare it to the original Willy Gun, but so does most salmon flies. Uh, regardless what you want to call these flies, they are really, really good. And just that color combination, black, orange and yellow, seems to uh, work for Atlantic salmon wherever you go in the world. So, def definitely a fly you should have in your box and in different sizes and variations. And I'm gonna start by tying the woolly gun, and then I will show you the usual dark. So we're starting up with the woolly gun. So take your uh, 1.8 millimeter clear tube and slide that gold US tube on. And I'm burning an edge here in the back and that sound is me blowing on that so it cures faster then a little drop of glue and then you put that all the way down to your edge here and cut off I normally leave about this amount a few centimeters to have something to work with then slide that onto your tube black thread which I'm attaching just on the edge of that metal I want this metal to be as cl clean as possible to uh, have a better sinking effect I'm gonna add a little bit of dubbing just like so not too much I'm twisting it together a little bit putting it there pinching my finger and thumb and then twist that around. Now it's locked, which means I'm gonna pull back the rest and secure it in front there. Very easy way to uh, put the dubbing on the tubes. Just spin it around, lock it in. Okay, like last week's fly we're gonna use three wings, which means that wing number two is an orange one. This is the middle one. We're gonna tie it in reverse, so that means that we need to make the middle wing first and cutting it out like so removing a little bit of excess hair there looking at the wing do I have a natural taper in it it looks pretty good I will slide my finger back so you can see that I'm just tapering that wing a little bit extra. Now you see it's even shorter and it goes out to a very thin nice tip. Cut that off and tie it in reverse which means the short hair should be pointing up and the long hair should be facing down as you can see because when we flip this over it's reversed. Okay that's the first one then I'm taking bright yellow fox uh, wing here. This one is a little bit too long. You should always have different lengths. This means that I will need to do a little bit extra work here to make that short and good looking to that orange wing. Something like that, cut off. Once again, reversed. I'm going to pull those out as well. Working with a little bit too long hair, uh, it's you don't want to pull out too much of those uh, hairs from the, the wing. So it's always good to have uh, a few different uh, pair of uh, hairs, fox hair sword. Turn that over like so, and locking it. If you want to, you can pull the brush through and just have a look how everything ended up. You can adjust by folding back and refolding and until you're satisfied. So, 
just one strand of angel hair gold one attach it one turn it over two three and once again make sure that those flash strands are not the same length okay now it's time for hackle and we're gonna do a little special thing today I'm gonna hackle to, uh, two different colors at the same time and I'm using a rooster saddle which I find very good feather for most salmon flies so first take your yellow one here and remove the stuff you don't want like so and peel that back carefully so you don't pull it off then cut then I'm attaching that one just two laps for now, that will do. Then you take an orange rooster saddle, do the same thing, clean away what you're not gonna use. And now measure so this one gets the sa about the same length. If you want a little bit more orange, you can make that a little bit longer, or if you want more yellow, you do the opposite. Pull that away, cut off. Now you get this little triangle, that's our attachment point. And you make sure it is more or less attached on the exact same spot. And now you can see that I'm also locking it below. Now you're taking the scissors and I'm gonna fix these. This is also in a previous video I made, Hackle Techniques, if you wanna look it up here on my YouTube page. Put the scissors against it and slowly pull. As you can see, we manipulated the fibers. I'm just gonna spin that together a little bit. Okay, first lap, both together at the same time. Pinch, release, reverse dew grip. There we go again. Pinch, release, reverse dew grip. Now we're going below that ugly lump there. I would say that this is about enough. So even though I have more fibers or more hackle to work with, I'm gonna lock it with my thread here. Two laps and then a few more with my right hand. Then cut that as close as you dare so it doesn't come off. This creates a very cool effect as you can see with the hackle here now. When we doubled Instead of using one yellow and then one orange, uh, hackling them together like so, see, there's a topping stuck there. Uh, it creates a very nice, uh, almost flame fiery effect. And of course, you can do this with different colors, but ye uh, the yellow and orange together really creates a very nice look. And we're now down to the last wing, which is a black fox hair or any material you prefer, of course. I tend to use foxer in most of my salmon flies. This one should be a little bit longer, once again, as the ta we're tapering the wing, it should be nice, slim, and in the very end. Looking into that wing, do I have a natural taper? It's pretty straight here, so I'm gonna remove a few. Starting to create a little bit more taper in it. Measuring, somewhere there which means it's not that much to cut away. Tying it reversed as usual. The benefit of this, especially here in the end, is that there is very little that you need to clean away. And of course the fly gets stronger because the wings are attached twice or do uh, in both scenarios there. Let's see, there we go. Then lock it. One, two, three, four. Take your brush and comb that through a little bit, like so. And then we're adding the cheeks. One third of the wing, one third of the wing. Once again, for our proportions, what looks good, can't really say that the salmon will care that much. I don't think. A few laps. 
like there. And then take the other one, measure so it gets about the same length. There we go. I'm going to take away a little bit more. There are very good substitute uh, feathers for these sheiks as well uh, today. But there, you can use different kinds of feathers as well. You can use grizzly feathers uh, as sheiks or, or you don't need it at all. But it is a nice little extra touch to the fly. And then I'm folding this one back. This will once again secure the fly a little bit extra. There we go. And cut that off and then cut the that side off. So taking glue on the thread here like so and then just wrap like that and cut it off and squeeze that in okay the final step is cutting that one as close as possible and your lighter and you're good to go then of course you can add a few more layers of uh, varnish to make that head good looking or UV glue or epoxy or there's different kinds of way to finish that but that's the tying and I hope you enjoyed it this is the Willigana I will very shortly as well show you the usual dark which is more or less the same fly but it has small differences okay the usual dark is a very similar fly I prepared a little bit of the stuff can I show you real quick same tube golden here and I'm attaching the thread to the same spot uh, I'm adding a little bit of dubbing here the black orange and yellow combination is of course what most people around the world refers as a willy gun pattern or in some cases the cascade because it has the same colors uh, this one has its origin in the north of Sweden uh, and it's called the usual dark because yeah they it's a very common fly that's why it's called the usual and the original the usual one is uh, orange uh, yellow orange and fire brown with a blue hackle and this one is the usual dark uh, here I'm gonna use bucktail instead of fox hair you can also use uh, polar bear to create a nice shimmer to the fly but bucktail works really really good and I'm not gonna tie this in reverse because this is a pretty stiff material uh, but I'm putting that on like so then just a few laps and I'm taking one strand once again of angel hair gold one and fold it and two three then I'm cutting those uh, next step take the orange bucktail and I'm gonna cut that uh, let's see we have Taking out a piece here. As you can see, it's a very a long, a lot of times the bucktail is very long, but it is pretty easy to work with anyway, even though, we are, like for example, now we want to create a shorter wing, we just do like we are doing here. Pinch it and attach it, a few soft laps, and then add a little bit of pressure. Make sure it's nice together, like so. I'm adding a little bit of glue here because it's not attached twice or folded this 
glue will of course secure it a little bit more. Then take a razor blade and I'm cutting it pretty close and of course a little bit sharper razor blade is not a bad thing. <laughs> so and what I'm gonna use here now is a black hackle. This is what they uh, say is the main difference. Uh, well one of them that we're gonna use black hackle here instead of uh, yellow and orange like I did in the willy gun and I'm taking that off cutting this is my triangle that I'm gonna attach and there we go put the scissors towards the hackle here and then slowly just pull it back that's enough because now there are a little bit more uh, user-friendly so here pinch it release the stem take the hackle in a reverse grip keep moving forward to cover that ugly lump there until it's done I'm taking my other hand here putting a few wrap and then attaching it then cut that off Take your brush and fold that down a little bit. And now the final step, we're gonna add that black wing. Like so. I'm taking away a little bit of access here. Looking over the taper of the wing, pulling a few fibers out. There we go. And I'm measuring this in. I want this to be a little bit longer than the other ones. Reverse grip. Make sure to remember what's short and long. The short should be on top and the long should be down. Like so. And then fold that back. The second big difference in tying a willy gun or the usual dark is that the usual dark should not under any circumstances have jungle cock otherwise it's not the usual dark uh, so the fly is done here uh, on the head here to create a nice shiny head and I'm pinching that ugly little thing in like so Then cut as close as possible. Take your lighter and then just burn that a little bit. So now this one is still a little bit wet, but it's fine since I'm gonna put UV glue over it. Put that all the way back. Clear regular UV glue that I'm putting on like so and slowly just rotating the vise. The good thing about this glue, it, it doesn't cure until you cure it with uh, UV light. Well, of course, if you're tying flies outside on a sunny day, this won't work really, but uh, you will have to stay out of the sun at least. And rotate this, shape the head nicely. Just a little bit has fallen down. Something like that. And then take your UV pen and make sure to hit that head with that light. This will cure it and it's tack free now, but sometimes I've noticed that some of these UV glues needs a little bit more time before I can touch it. If you want to have that nice shiny head, you should avoid touching it for a little while. And there you go, there's the usual dark. And then we have the Willy Gun. So as you can see, it's not huge differences, but even so, it is a little bit different fly. And uh, regardless, these colors works extremely well in 
most salmon waters. And it's definitely one of my favorites.